Great Debaters Contest is powered by Blaze, by Safaricom, the Youth Network. It's always a delight to be here in Nyeri region and this is the Great Debaters Contest. I'm your host, Austin Nyombo. And I am Mariam Bishar. Welcome to the show. We have Nyenda girls going versus Baricho boys on whether the growing urban population should be given priority for water access. We'll let the debaters take the stage now. Proposal number one, you have three minutes. Brianna Sinjoroge, Baricho High School, to propose the motion that growing urban population should get first priority to access of water. What is urban population? This is a population which is inhabited in the metropolitan and suburban areas. People, how many of you did not take a shower in the morning? How many of you did not brush their teeth in the morning? A while ago, we were out for tea break. What is tea made of? Water is the cog to human existence. Environmentalists have had their research and they have discovered that 3% is the only amount of water available for human use. 2% is polluted. What is left? Only 1%. This 1% should be given to the urban population. Why is this? Look at our upcountry counterparts. They have natural water sources, rivers, lakes, name them. But what about we in the urban areas? We are not endowed. This is why we should get first priority to this remaining 1%. In urban areas lies literary of recreational activities. From these recreational activities, we have had people who are working in swimming pools. We have had time to go and enjoy ourselves in these recreational facilities which are propelled by water, Uhuru Park. How many of us go to Uhuru Park for a boat ride? Our upcountry brothers, they come to these swimming pools in the urban areas. Urban areas, there lies waterways. For example, Frankfurt in Germany. The Frank Font is a waterway which is at the epicenter of Germany. And what is Germany? Germany is an urban area. And besides, in every urban, in every 